Hey everybody, it's Teresa. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to make a necklace today and I'm going to use some of the beads that I received from Hay Beads. I've received one package for them so far and it had beautiful beads in it. I'll put a link in the corner of this video and in the description box below to the unboxing video I did for this subscription in case you want to go back and watch it where I show all the beads that came in the box. Uh, Hay Beads is a women owned and run zero waste business. They acquire unique vintage antique or dead stock beads so you're guaranteed to get unique items in a curated collection they package each box in their home office by hand they creatively reuse containers for packing and reuse as much of their shipping supplies as possible in order to reduce waste and help the environment I have a coupon code, it's THJ20, and I'll put it on the screen here and in the description box below, and that'll save you 20% off either the first month of a subscription or an order from their uh, shop, their online shop, and I'll put a link in the description be box below to their website. You can just go in there and buy beads if you want to, if you don't want to subscribe to a subscription. They have three different sizes of their subscriptions. They have a small, which is $15.00. A medium which is $30 and a large which is $60 monthly all those prices are monthly of course the box they sent me was the medium so in here I've got the one of the 15 and a half millimeter turquoise highlight heart beads that came in the box and I've got a ball head pin I'm gonna put that on I've got the blue and green rondelles seven and a half by ten millimeter that came in the box in here I've got the pale blue and green beads. They're seven and a half by seven millimeters that came in the box. I've got some bead caps from my stash. I've got some pieces of my 22 gauge German style wire. I'm going to do some wire wrap links. I've got some chain I'm going to put on the back. I don't know how much. Obviously not this much, but I don't know how much I'm going to use. <clears throat> I've got some findings in here. I've got a lobster clasp, some four millimeter, six millimeter, and one eight millimeter jump rings. I've got a little piece of extender chain. I've got a ball head pin in one of the seven and a half by seven millimeter beads that I'm probably going to hang off the back of the extender chain as a dangle. I've got a link in here that I'm going to use on one side of the necklace. It's going to be an asymmetrical necklace. Uh, Y'all know me, I go asymmetrical sometimes. <laughs> and I've got a ring here that I'm going to have at the focal area. I think that's everything that's in there. I'm going to be using my chain nose pliers, my tweezer pliers, my round nose pliers, both pairs of my bent chain nose pliers, my crimping pliers that I use to tuck in the burrs when I cut off wire, and my cutters. And I have my little New Orleans shot glass that I'm going to use to put my wires in when I'm done. I said last time I need to empty them and I haven't done it yet. <laughs> uh, I think that's everything. I'll put links to everything I can find links for in the description box below. So hold on, I'll get some of my beads poured out and I'll be back. Okay, I've got some of my beads out here now, and I'm going to work on my focal first. So I'm going to take my ball head pin and put my heart on here. Zoom in just a tiny bit, not much. I'm going to take my pliers, go to the tip of the pliers, bend at a 90 degree angle. Around those pliers and put them in the crook of the bend. Around those pliers facing me. Bend the wire back until it hits the bead. Rotate the pliers till they're facing the table. Take this part up and under here until it hits the bottom of the tool. Cock the wire back until the loop is centered over the bead. I'm going to take my bent chain those pliers and hold on to my loop. Bring my wire down a little bit. I'm going to take my other pair of bent chain nose pliers and start wrapping. I'll make sure to get that first wrapping under the loop, not over the top of the bottom of the loop. Now I'm going to just wrap till there's no more room to wrap. I'm going to take my cutters, cut off my extra wire, got that 
that wrap pretty close. I'm <laughs> having a hard time cutting it off. I wanted to get it tight against there so that the heart wouldn't move so much. I think I got it too close. Finally. I'm going to take my crimping pliers and go into that part there that's got the half circles on each side and tuck in the little burr that's left where I cut off the wire. And I didn't succeed. My little heart's spinning, but <laughs> I guess it'll have to be all right. Now I'm going to take one of my pieces of my German style wire pliers. I'm going to go down about an inch and a half. I'm going to bend at a 90 degree angle. Take my round nose pliers and put them in the crook of the bend. Round nose pliers facing me. Bend the wire back until the loop, or until it hits the tool. Rotate the pliers till they're facing the table. Take the short piece of wire up and then turn until it hits the bottom of the tool. Cock the wire back until the loop is centered over the bead, or over the wire. And that usually stands that little piece of wire almost straight up or at a really, really steep angle there. Now I'm going to open my loop. Thread on my heart. And close my loop. I'm going to take my bent chain nose pliers and hold on to my loop. Bring my wire down. I'm going to wrap the short piece of wire around the long piece of wire about three times. Take my cutters, cut off the extra wire. I'm going to take a bead cap, because y'all know me, I have to have bead caps around everything. <laughs> and I'm going to put it on here. I'm going to put one of my big rondel beads on here. And another bead cap. I'm going to go to the very tip of my pliers. Bend at a 90 degree angle. Around those pliers in the crook of the bend. Bend the wire back until it hits the bead. Rotate the pliers till they're facing the table. Take this piece and bring it up and under here until it hits the bottom of the tool. Cock the wire back until the loop is centered over the bead. Take my Bend chain those pliers and hold on to my loop. Bring my wire down. Get my other pair of bent chain those pliers and start to wrap. Make sure to get that first wrap and under the loop. Just wrap till there's no more room to wrap. Off the extra wire. Take my crimping pliers and tuck in the little burrs. Now I'm going to do that again. I'm going to take a piece of my wire. down about an inch and a half, bend over at a 90 degree angle, go around those pliers in the crook of the bend, bend the wire back until it hits the tool, rotate the pliers till they're facing the table, take the short piece of wire up and under here until it hits the bottom of the tool, cock the wire back until the loop is centered over the wire, take my bent chain nose pliers and hold on to my loop, nope, I almost forgot. First, I need to open my loop and put what I've already got made on here. And then I need to close my loop. 
Now, now I need to hold on with my bent chain those pliers. Bring my wire down. Wrap the short piece around the long piece. About three times. Cut off my extra wire. Take a B cap. Another one of my big beads. And a B cap. My pliers go to the very tip of the pliers, bend over at a 90 degree angle, around those pliers in the crook of the bend, bend the wire back until it hits the bead, rotate the pliers till they're facing the table, hold on tight, take this part up and under here until it hits the bottom of the tool, cock the wire back until the loop is center of the bead. Bent chain those pliers and hold on to my loop. Bring my wire down. My bent chain those other pair of bent chain those pliers and start to wrap. Just keep wrapping until there's no more room to wrap. I'm going to cut off my extra wire. Take my crimping pliers and tuck in my burrs. Now I'm going to attach this to my ring. I need to hold it up here and see whether or not I need a jump ring to attach it or not. I mean, I'm going to attach it with a jump ring. I'm want to make sure my loops are oriented the way I want them to be. So I'm going to take a six millimeter jump ring and it. Put my little chain I've made here on here. Put it on my ring. And I had a feeling I didn't open that up enough. Close my jump ring back. I don't know if my hands are getting weaker or these jump rings are getting thicker. <laughs> my hands must be getting weaker because I don't think the jump rings are getting thicker. Okay, so that's going to be my focal. You can't see that. i got to bring it up here. That's going to be my focal. Now I'm going to make some wire wrap links. I'm going to, here, let me zoom back out. I'm going to put, I've got one link made here. I'm going to put the rest of my big beads here. And I'm going to put my little beads on this side. I've got one of them made too. And I think I'll put a few of my little beads on this side. I don't know how many I'm going to need yet. To Well, y'all still can't see that. See if I can tilt my camera without making y'all sick. There we go. It's a little bit. I don't know. My camera seems to have turned yellow. Hold on. Let me see what's going on. Okay. I had accidentally hit the button that turned the flashlight on on my camera. 
<laughs> which is why everything went yellow there for a minute. So my plan is I'm going to put these three big ones on this side and my small ones on this side and probably some of my small ones up here. And then I'm, I don't know how long, how many it's going to take to get it as long as I want it to be. But I'm just going to make wire wrap links and connect them to each other just like I did these on each side. And when I get as many made as I want, want to, as I think I need, I'll be, I'll be back. <laughs> so I hold on, I'll be back. Okay, I've got some of my links made here. Now, I made I used five of my smaller beads, and I decided I'm not going to put any of the smaller ones on this side because I've got this link. I forgot about it. I'm going to put it over here. So, I'm going to take a six millimeter jump ring. And I've already been fooling with these jump rings, and they are really thick. I or, I don't know if the jump rings are getting thicker or my hands are getting weaker, but <laughs> I imagine it's my hands are getting weaker because they're the same jump rings I've been using. Okay, I'm going to put one side of my necklace on my ring there. Now I'm going to take another jump ring. And put my other side of my necklace on. link or ring I mean close it back up real well now I'm going to put two jump rings here to try and make this the same as long as this side so I'm going to take my jump ring here put it on my necklace and close it up and take another jump ring put it on this jump ring this jump ring on my link close it up Let's see what I got here now I think that's close enough to the same length that it'll be okay so now I've got a couple of pieces of chain here these are about five inches each. I'm going to take a, I think I need another six millimeter jump ring. Those little four millimeter jump rings won't go around that length. Two more because I got to put both sides of my chain on here. <clears throat> so I'm going to take a jump ring open it up put my link on there <clears throat> these are so thick they might not go through this chain I don't know don't believe they are going to so I'm going to take a four millimeter jump ring put it on my six millimeter jump ring probably would have been easier just to close it and then open the four millimeter but I didn't I decided to do it the hard way this one up. Now I'm going to open my four millimeter, which I believe is a little bit thinner. 
and hopefully it will go on my chain. Yeah, there we go. Close it up really well. <clears throat> Now I've got a, I'm going to have to take a, another four millimeter jump ring and attach this side. Okay, now I'm going to come up here, <clears throat> take another 4 millimeter jump ring, put my lobster clasp on here, and my chain. That closed up really well. Now I fear that this 8mm jump ring might not go on this chain because it's pretty thick too. I'll give it a shot here and see. Yeah, there we go. And my little piece of extender chain. I don't know if that's an 8mm jump ring or not. It might be a 10mm. It's awfully big. I think I might have got the wrong size. But it'll work. Let me get this turned around here. And see what I've got here. So that's what I've got now. I know it's hard to see it all because it's very long because y'all know that's what I do. <laughs> now I'm gonna make a little dangle to go on my uh, extender chain. I've got a ball head pin. I'm gonna put one of these smaller beads on here. Over the tip of my pliers, bend at a 90 degree angle, around those pliers in the crook of the bend, around those pliers facing me, bend the wire back until it hits the bead, rotate the pliers till they're facing the table, take the wire up and under here until it hits the bottom of the tool, <clears throat> cock the wire back until the loop is centered over the bead, my pliers and open my loop put my extender chain on here <clears throat> there we go close my loop back I bent chain those pliers and hold on to my loop. Try to hold my chain back out of the way here. Take my other pair of bent chain those pliers. Start to wrap. Just wrap till there's no more room to wrap. my cutters, cut off my extra wire, take 
take my crimping pliers and tuck in my little burr. So, now I'm all done. Hold on, let me put up some of my tools and things and I'll be back. Okay, so there's my necklace made with some of the beads I got from Hay Beads. Uh, like I said, if you all decide to subscribe or make an order with them, that coupon code will save you 20%. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate those of you who have subscribed to my channel and watched my videos and liked and commented on my videos. I have a website where I sell my jewelry. It's Teresa's Handmade Jewelry, and I'll put a link to it in the description box below in case you're interested, along with a link to my Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and my email. If you haven't, I'd really love it if you'd subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. So until next time, I hope you all have a great day. Take care.